Hi guys, so we've got lovely Walter and Christina here today. <laughs> so we are going to show you a really amazing tutorial with Lux Cosmetics. Here is the finished look, which I'll show you a bit closer. We hope you enjoy this tutorial and keep watching if you want to learn how to create this look. So I'm starting off with the Matte Perfection Foundation. Now this is more of a matte finish, great for the day and perfect if you have combination skin. It's a light to medium coverage. So next up I'm using the Lux Concealer and this colour is in light and it's a really really good concealer. It's got light reflecting pigments in so it's going to really brighten the under eye and I'm just tapping that in with the foundation brush. So next up I'm using the brow pencil. It's got a pencil on one end and a wand on the other so you can brush through your brows. This pencil is in a nice chocolate brown tone, perfect for Christina's hair colour. Really good match here. And I'm just taking it through the brow, really nice and natural finish. And then I'm just going to brush through the brows, keeping them looking nice and neat. I've extended the eyebrow slightly and I'm going in the same direction as the brow hairs grow in. I'm using the Sun Protector Powder Duo on the eyeshadow brush here and I'm taking it across the lid. This is just to warm up the lid and give it a slight contour in the crease. It's also a really nice smooth finish to the lid itself and I'm using the more bronzier side in the crease of the eye and the lighter side in the inner corner to really give a nice highlight and a base for my eyeliner to sit on in a minute. So I'm using the Lux Exclusive Eyeliner and this is in the beautiful chocolate brown colour and I'm just taking this across the lash line in little strokes like this and I'm creating a nice smudgy lash line which I'm then going to smoke out later with a matte brown eyeshadow. So now with this angled brush from Lux the Eyeshadow Brush, I'm just using this matte eyeshadow and it's in a beautiful chocolate brown. And I'm just tapping on top of the exclusive eyeliner. I'm just tapping on top with this matte shadow. This is just going to give it a more smudgy effect and really intensify the eyeliner. And because it's got an angle with the brush, I can slightly wing it out at the ends of the eye. So I'm going back with the exclusive eyeliner, now the formula is super creamy so this won't irritate your waterline and I'm just taking it onto the waterline now, into the inner corner all the way through and it's the same chocolate brown colour I smudged across the upper lash line. Then once that little bit's done I'm going to be taking the angled brush here which I used with the matte eyeshadow and just taking a small amount of the eyeshadow and buffing it across that lower lash line just to create a really subtle smudgy effect so you can get that nice soft smoky look. So now I'm using the Ultra Lash Mascara. This is a really great one to get a really nice thick eyelash. So look down for me. And it's non-smudging, it's jet black. It's there to lift and lengthen. And you'll see it really creates the lashes to be more separated because of the wand itself. I'm going to use this on the lower lashes after we've smudged under the lash line. So now I'm taking the matte eyeshadow in that chocolate brown with this thinner brush for the eyeshadow. Look up for me. I'm now smudging this on the lower lash line, almost just on top of where I put that exclusive chocolate brown eyeliner onto the waterline. And I'm taking this across the lash line. This is going to give a really smudgy, smoky effect. This is a great step to do just before you put on lower lash mascara because you don't want the two to smudge together. So this is just going to create that nice intensified eye makeup look. So now to apply the ultra lash mascara onto the lower lashes. This is just going to really open up the eyes as well. Christina's got lovely long lower lashes so it's just going to help widen up the eye and give it a little bit more of a dramatic finish to the look and because the formula is nice and thin it's not going to create a clumpy eyelash look it's just going to give a really subtle subtle open of the eye. 
So now to warm up the skin, I'm gonna be using the Natural Mineral Velvet Powder, which is a really nice bronzed up tone. I'm using it with a large powder brush here, and I'm just sweeping this around the areas that the sun would naturally catch. So top of the forehead, onto the cheekbones, just at the tip of the cheekbone there. This will give a nice sculpted look to the face, but at the same time, just warm up the skin. Can you see how we've got that nice two-dimensional light and shade across the face? And it's a really warm, rich color. It's not a matte powder. It's got a slight pearlescent sheen to it. So your skin sort of just comes alive and creates that really nice soft dewy finish and I'm taking it down onto the neck slightly just to ensure it's nice and bronzed and even. So now I'm using the compact powder in beige with the large powder brush again. This is just a matte powder to get rid of any unwanted shine. Not only that, but I love using this over the top of any bronzers that I've used just to blur out the edges and create a little bit more of a matte finish. Not only that, but it just softens up the skin and gives it almost like an airbrushed finish. So it's great at adding a bit more coverage to the skin, but also getting rid of any unwanted shine. It's soaks up the oils on your skin, but yet leaves it feeling nice and velvety as a finish. So to set the under eyes, I'm going in with a compact powder here, and it comes with a little sponge underneath, which is a really cute applicator. And I'm just going to tap this on under the eye. This is gonna help set your under eyes where your concealer has been. It's gonna help with color correction, gets rid of shine, not only that, but it will help set your makeup in throughout the day. So if you know that you get laughter lines or creases onto your skin, just tap a little bit of this on and this will help stay your makeup for the day. Now I'm using the Duo Blush, so you have a bronzing side for more of a bronzed up blusher and you have this beautiful rosy pink side here and it comes with a little compact underneath and a mirror. So I'm just gonna go in with the pinkier tone and just add this to the top of the cheekbones and what you're gonna see is this really beautiful natural flush color come through. Can you see the difference? So if you do wanna keep for a more bronzed up look, you can just use the mineral bronzing powder or if you wanna add a little bit more freshness to the skin, then this duo blush is perfect. And you can use the other side to bronze up the whole skin if you want to. It has a slightly shimmery finish so it gives you a nice dewy look. So now with the smudging eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna go in with this really beautiful, sort of shimmery toned eyeshadow, very nice and subtle. And I'm just taking that into the inner corner of the eye. This is gonna give a really subtle highlight to the eye. Therefore, it's gonna open it up and give it that little bit of sparkle so you can take it from day to night if you want, or you can just add this if you want to jazz up the look slightly. So I'm using the same eyeshadow, that really nice sort of shimmery tone, and I'm just taking it onto the brow bone here as well. I've taken it into the inner corner, and taking this onto the brow bone, just where the arch of the brow is, is really gonna lift up the eye, draw attention to the area to make it look wider, and it's really gonna help sort of elongate the eyes. So I'm just taking it right underneath where the arch of the eyebrow would be, and where it's got that beautiful subtle highlight, it's just gonna create a lovely sheen nice and nourishing on the lips. Not only that, but for a gloss, it's super smooth. So it's nice and hydrating. I'm just taking that across and what you'll see is those little reflectant pigments coming through, which is gonna draw attention to the lips and give a beautiful glossy finish. So this is the final look with lovely Christina and of course, Walter stealing the show over here. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I'm sure there'll be many more to come and keep your eye out on the Looks Cosmetics Instagram page.